you can make 10,000 euros a month working from home with your own blog. That's the I'm gonna show you how you can make even more. In this video, I'm gonna prove it to you with examples of real life bloggers who are making an extortionate amount of money with just a few hours working every week. I'm gonna show you these proven monetization strategies that you can use, and then I'm gonna give you the simple method to implement them on your blog. But first, what's likely to happen if we take this terrifying leap to monetizing our blog. There is a pattern I've seen over and over again with successful bloggers. Sarah Titus claims to be making over $250,000 every month from her blog. She sells digital products to her blog reader and she's built a real connection with her readers and she's now profiting massively from that. It wasn't always that way for her. After her husband had numerous affairs, she was left homeless with massive amounts of debt and needing to find a way to make money. She started a blog and she's built a massive loyal following through her drive to succeed and to help others. And this has exploded into a massively successful online business. Debbie, the flooring girl, claims to be bringing in about $10,000. She says a lot of her revenue comes from affiliate sales and ads. And basically all she does is write blog posts about, well, flooring. Ashley from Smart Sense Mom, is a stay-at-home mom who claims to be profiting over $2,000 every month from just working 10 to 12 hours a week. When she had kids, she realized that she no longer wanted to go out to work. She wanted to find a way of making money from home. So, well, it's pretty obvious that she did that. And now she's helping other moms do the same. So what are some of the proven monetization strategies that you can start implementing today? The first one we're gonna look at is affiliate marketing. You write a blog post about the best tablet for kids. Your reader finds this blog and says it's absolutely great that there's this personal recommendation for what is the best tablet for my kid. You have a link in your blog telling people how they can directly buy that product. If you're set up as an affiliate, you can earn a small commission every time someone buys a product. A lot of different companies will have their own affiliate scheme or referral program. So think about any of the things that you use, any software that you use, because you can better recommend those products because you have experience using them. Our next strategy then is brand deals. So once you have a little bit of authority in your niche, you might, you might find that brands start to reach out to you in order to develop a relationship where you can start recommending their products in your content and they'll pay you for that. This can be a little bit more lucrative than affiliate marketing. And that obviously dep depends on the individual brand. Strategy three then is ads. Once you have a decent amount of viewers coming to your blog, you can start displaying ads. You can sign up for an advertising program, something like Google AdSense, and they will show relevant ads to your readers. If you really need to have been posting for at least three to six months before getting started, you need to have quite a few views to your blog in order to make any real money. And your blog can start to feel a little bit cluttered to your readers once you start displaying ads. So it's just something to consider. Strategy four then, you can sell physical products. So you find a problem through writing your blog posts and getting your content out there and you create a product that's specifically designed for them. And then you can advertise that in your own blog post. You might want to sell some art products or you might want to sell some merchandise or possibly some branded stationery. Strategy five then is about selling digital products. A digital product could be anything from a digital PDF, an ebook, an online course, or possibly some kind of template. So a Canva template or a Notion template. You can really easily let your blog readers know that you have these for sale, especially if you make them really relevant to your blog readers. You can make a lot of money doing this. You can control every part of the sales process. And once your sales funnel is created, it can be a fairly passive way to make income. Who else is doing this then? Well, I know this one YouTube creator called Ali Abdal, and he's always telling everybody about how much money he earns. And that year we made $8,470 on Skillshare. In 2020, I made a bunch more courses on Skillshare, made $515,000 from those. But basically he created this course and sold it through Skillshare. And he claims to have made over two and a half million selling his online courses through Skillshare. So there is a big earning potential here with this one. Once you have the knowledge to share and have put this into a structured curriculum, then you have a lot of earning potential. Strategy six then is about selling your consultancy services. And obviously this will depend on whether you have a skill and knowledge to share with your readers. Let's say for example, you're a dietitian, you can sell nutrition consultations. Or if you're a lawyer, you can give law advice. This is something that you can sell from day one because you already have that skill set. All you need is a some kind of scheduler on your website, allowing people to book 
a time for their consultation. This one also has a very high earning potential, but it's not quite so passive because you have to physically do the consultation services. If you're inspired by this video to set up your own online business through your blog, then consider watching this video next, where I show you exactly how to build your very own WordPress blog from scratch. Thanks for watching.